What if I told you that you could schedule a whole month's worth of content in under an hour? Keep watching and I'll show you my secret weapon. For more business and social media advice, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified every time I upload every single Monday. If posting on social media becomes an afterthought whenever you've had a long day with meeting with clients, you're gonna love what I talk about today because at the end of this video, you will know my six step process that I use to upload, plan and schedule all my content for the whole month so that I can get back to serving my clients. So what I'm about to share with you is not even really a secret weapon. It's been out there for years, but most people don't really know about it. And I want them to like know what I do to make it quick and painless and very, very easy to get consistent. Because that's one thing that we suffer with the most as we are teaching our clients every single day. And the tool that I use is called, drum roll please, the Later app. So the first thing that I want you to do is to sign up for the Later app. Later is a free tool. Don't worry about adding in your credit card. It's a free tool that you can use to schedule all of your Instagram content. I love it personally because I can create my own media library and just drag and drop photos in there without having to use multiple apps to kind of figure out how my aesthetics is and things like that. And speaking of, of aesthetics, I can preview what I'm going to be posting out for the whole month and, and move things around so, so that it matches the way that I want it to look like whenever it's being published. Like I said, Later is totally free. If you have the basic plan, you can get up to 30 free posts a month to Instagram. Another thing that I like about Later is that it has a mobile app. So if I'm on the go, I can schedule um, Instagram photos whenever I want on desktop or the mobile app itself. So what I want you to do right now is to go to jamardiggs.com slash later and sign up. And because you use my affiliate code, you're gonna get 10 extra posts a month for using later. So when you first sign up, you're gonna get 40 posts a month for Instagram. Great, right? <laughs> So now I'm going to take you into my computer and we're gonna walk through the six steps that I use to schedule out all my content. All right guys, let's go ahead and hop into later and I'm gonna show you the, the, the six steps that I use to plan all my content out. So the first thing that I do is I quickly go ahead and upload all my photos and videos into the media library. So Later has an amazing media library right here that I love to take advantage of. And so what you'll do is just, when you get into Later, you go to the calendar section and then you go to upload media. Now you can upload media through, um, through your Google Drive or Dropbox, wherever you have your photos and videos stored, or you can have them um, just through your regular, uh, like your, your regular, computer and so i i already have some pictures already uploaded right here so i'm going to show you what what the next step is now so step two is to create a um, quick schedule time so later has this really cool function where you can create a quick schedule times which means um you already have these preset times these preset dates and times that you can easily implement and what you'll have to do all you'll do is go to your gear icon and then go ahead what well, you can do do two things so if you already have it set up you can just oops let me just go back if you already have it set up all i have to do is just kind of just click in a place and then the quick schedule time will just appear so just double click here and then this little field right here creates a little um a little like faded area where I can just just drag and drop things into so I already have things here where I'm scheduling three times a, a week and so I have mine set for Tuesday at 10 15 Wednesday at 10 15 and Thursday for F 10 15 I can also schedule like all these other times if if I want no big deal um now i want you to um drag and drop these assets and so the way that we do this is by first going to the preview section which i love i love this section so much because i'm able to see my feed as i plan okay so as i add photos here we're going to see them scheduled right here so we're going so let's go ahead and add some let's go let's just 
select a few options here. <laughs> I have my little CrossFit pictures here. I think I'm, I think I'm so big and bad, whatever. So there, I also want to click that one here. Let's drag and drop a few other ones. Okay, so let's do that. And we're going to just drag and drop right here. I can save changes right there. And now I can just go to step four, which is to arrange your photos and videos the way that you like it. All right, so I'm just gonna start moving things around just like that. And if I like it, I'm gonna keep it. If I don't, don't. This is just an example. So I'm just, so I'm just gonna just do it any old kind of way, but I want you to see what just happened. So as I was moving these around, my quick, my quick schedule times are already there, right? So um, as you'll see, the post, this is going to be the next post right here, right? So um, the you're seeing the posts that, that are already posted up on, up on Instagram because they have the IG logo right here, but then the next photo that is going to be uploaded next is going to be put right here. Okay, and then I can move those however way I want. You can also see the post schedule right here. So if you if you like what you see up on the right and it's the right schedule that you're um, liking and you like how the feed is looking, you are good to go, right? So after that, after I like how everything is going, I'm going to start adding the copy to each post, which is step number five. And so I'm just going to go back to the week view and I'm going to start adding copy for each one. So I'm gonna go click on to the next one that's coming out, which is Wednesday. And I'm going to just write copy. I'm just gonna write anything that I wanna say. This is gonna be where you type in all, all your stuff right here. And so if you have no idea what you want to um, be talking about, there is a video where I talk about that. Um, I, I give you a little exercise where you can go in and kind of figure out some content ideas. So you can click on that right in the information box. And, um, but really all you have to do is just think about like some frequently asked questions, things like that. It's totally cool. Um, here is where you put all of your posts and then you're good to go to go into the last and final step with a step six, six which is to add your hashtags. So uh, I love later. <laughs> Another reason why I love later is because you can save your hashtags here, right? So I can create a bunch of different hashtag groups all right here. And I can totally just create like a podcast hashtag. I can create a hashtag for, um, for like maybe my like localized type of content or anything like that. So if you have a lot of hashtag groups, you can easily store them right here it's instead of using like your notes app or just some other type of way that you're keeping track of all of your hashtags. You can just make a new group right in here and then just easily add it like that. And it's so easy. So you put your copy right here and then you are good to go. So you can all can always go ahead and edit it by going right here and change the aspect ratio that you like. Go there and then we're going to, you can even change it to auto publish so that you can do the location tag. And since I'm in Norfolk, I'm going to go ahead and add Norfolk right there and I am good to go. And so I save, right? So that is the six steps that I use for all of my posts. And then as you do that, if you know what you already wanna say, then all you have to do is just keep on doing it over and over again. And so you just keep on going week by week and then going in to schedule each post. This is the month view right here. So, so, so I already scheduled that one. Now I'm gonna go over to this one and do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna edit, crop, to whatever I want it to be, who knows? There we go. I put copy in right here, add in my hashtags. Bam. And because I already finished it, it's ready to be set to auto publish. I'm going to go ahead and add in the location right here. And then we're good to go. And then, and then I just keep on doing it over and over and over. These photos could be. The, most people have tr have trouble finding out what the photo size. So if you already have the photos, all you have to do is just drag 
drop them. You already picked the days that, that you want to post each, um, each week. Now you just drag and drop them, put in your copy, put in your hashtags, and you are good to go. Okay, now we're back. How was that? Was it easy for you? Do you think it was hard? Put your questions in the comment box below. Now, if you are all hyped up about later, which I hope you are by now, don't forget to sign up at jamardiggs.com slash later and get your 10 extra posts for your first time for free. So now you have the tech and the steps to attract your dream clients on social media. I want you to know how to actually convert them into a paying client. That is what we're all on social media for to do anyway, right? So I have a free guide that will show you how to turn your followers into happy dream clients. If you wanna grab that right now, click the link in the description box down below. If you like this video, be sure to let me know by subscribing to the channel, liking my video, and tagging me on Instagram with this screenshot. Don't forget to comment down below with your questions about later. I would love to answer them for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, yay. Ooh. Woo. I want to be like, blue skirt, do. We can too. Okay. Ah, uh, no. Just go down here. Okay, okay. I just like had like a moment. I just like, <laughs> I didn't even know what happened to my eyeballs. <laughs> I was like, why are my eyes closed?